Welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. Uh, we're here for another unboxing of WizKid's latest Heroclix set. This is Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, we do a little bit different of a setup. I think I finally got an idea as to how to properly do a unboxing this to give you a better idea as to what these figures look like. So we're going to use Iron Man's Arc Lights Reactor chest as our spots to put the figures as we open up and show them off. Um, so for those who don't know what Heroclix is, it's a miniature game where you use these pre-painted figures to uh, build your force and battle it out with each other. Uh, there's about a set every, we'll say about three months or so. The latest is Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, I kind of picked it up because I'm a huge fan of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Nick Fury in general, and it just sounded like a really, really cool set. So, um, you know, I went with it. Uh, we did do an unboxing of the Fast Forces box, and I have to say I was really unimpressed with that release. It was probably one of the worst Fast Forces release that uh, has been out for quite some time. So here's hoping the actual set is better than that. So what we're going to do is we're going to place the figures in um, front of the camera on the arc light shield and uh, you're going to be able to check out the figure. So So, um, up first is Jimmy Woo. Uh, Jimmy Woo is a part of Agents of Atlas. He's also a detective, uh, police, and shield. Um, the thing that's great about the game is it does a lot of the flavor of the figures. So, um, his first thing is changing the world, the cult secrets exposed, uh, posing characters adjacent to two or more friendly characters with shield keyword you can't use willpower or the mystic's ability he's also got infiltrate the atlas foundation which was his whole thing as agent of atlas determined to find the truth frag grenades high caliber rounds which is uh stealth sidestep energy explosions penetrating psychic blast not my first fight which gives him energy shield deflection young man's body's toughness i've seen all the tricks jimmy woo, woo can use probability control jimmy woo and adjacent uh friendly characters can share a keyword with him can't be targeted by opposing probability control uh, with decades of experience, gives him outwit all for a whopping 60 points. And this is the B character, which is kind of cool. So we're going to show off the card really quick. And eh, we're going to read him cards aren't going to be that, uh, you know, you need to read them, you're probably going to be able to find them online. All right, anyways, all right, up next, we've got uh, Nick Fury himself, number one figure in this set. This is the old school Nick Fury, not Nick Fury Jr. He is, keywords, Howling Commandos, Politician, Shield, Secret Warriors, Soldier, Spy, um, First Star is Life Model Decoy. The first Nick Fury added to your forces cost 65 points, the rest cost 25 points, and begin on the click number one after the orange KO. Until KO, Nick Fury is considered 65 points. Rally. When Nick Fury hits one or more opposing characters, add one action to your action total this turn. Uh, he's got Stealth, Sidestep, Precision Strike, Penetrating, Psychic Blast, Toughness, Combat Reflexes, Regeneration, and who's the really one? Nick Fury can use Shape Change once per turn for all characters with this power. After failing a roll for Shape Change, you may swap Nick Fury with any other friendly uh, Nick Fury, uh, that character can't use chip change for that attack and becomes a new target. Plan, uh, and then he's got finally Outwit. He's actually the number one on the in the set at 65 points or 25 points, as I said. Next, we've got let's just crack these out to make this go a little bit quicker. Well, you know you can't have shield without some bad guys, and they don't come much more bad than the Hydra Field Agent. He's a whole 25 points. Um, his things are cut off the head when uh, Hydra Agent is KO'd. Remove any action token from up to two friendly characters within the Hydra keyword. Infiltrate the front line. He's got stealth, poison, combat reflexes, and support. Uh, infiltrate the front line, wrong dosage, basic training, and EMT. Pretty basic character, but it seems like pretty decent if you want to build a Hydra Force. Next, we've got Sarah Garza. I don't know this character off the top of my head. She's not 
doesn't really sound too familiar to me. She's whole 50 points. Uh, keywords are Avengers, Inhumans, and Shield. Um, she's got Leap Climb, Running Shots, Pulse Wave, Toughness. Energy Shield Deflection, Getting Info to the Boots on the Ground. Sarah Garza, Garza can use Perplex. Uh, she can use it twice per turn on different targets if both characters have the Shield keyword in equal or lower point value. She is a whole 50 points. And then finally, we've got Madam Hydra at you know 100 points. Um, Hydra's reach is never ending when Madam Hydra takes damage from an attack after actions resolve you may choose one character adjacent to the character deal them one penetrating damage and give them an action token uh, beauty with black heart madam hydra heals one damage each time another friendly character that shares a key with her is ko so that's pretty cool and gives you a great reason to have a whole bunch of hydra in your force she's also got stealth running shot sidestep um, madam hydra can use poison when she uses poison she deals penetrating damage to characters with the shield keyword. She also has penetrating, psychic blast, blades, claws, fangs, combat reflexes, energy shield, deflection. Uh, she can use outwit and shape change. Opposing characters within range and line of fire that use outwit or perplex must be given a power action instead of a free action to use it. And then she has exploit weakness. Character that debuted in Secret Wars number six, a great run of comics. I highly recommend you checking it out. So far, so good. It's actually pretty cool. We got some cool Hydra characters. We definitely got some cool S.H.I.E.L.D. characters. Uh, the fact that we have a new Jimmy Woo Agents of Atlas, I'm pretty psyched about because I'm a huge Agent of Atlas fan. So, I like this. So far, so good. And it looks like the second uh, booster that we're opening up is just as cool. So let's go from here. Not really quick to make things a bit faster, hopefully. Uh, this one, this second brick that I'm opening up is, is Hydra Crazy. Urgh. Struggling here. We'll go with this one last. We've got the Hydra Recruit. It's an early one. It's a 20-point figure. If you think the Hydra Agents were disposable. Gotta imagine Hydra Recruits are even more disposable. So I said the Hydra Recruit is a whole 20 points. Um, the keyword is a Hydra and Soldier. It's a female recruit. Uh, cut off one head. When Hydra Recruit is KO'd, remove an action token from up to two friendly characters with the Hydra keyword. Uh, also has sidestep, willpower, combat reflexes, enhancement, and empower for a whole 20 points. It's not bad for a 20 point character. Um, here's one that I kind of dig as far as a character is Jet Black. I know Rick Remender's run recently has been pretty controversial, and this character has been uh, part of that. Uh, keyword is just Warrior. Uh, so she is Arm, uh, Arnim Zola's daughter, inspired by Steve Rogers. When we build your force, Jet Black gains the keywords that friendly characters named. Uh, Arnim, Zola, Captain America, or Steve Rogers possess when adjacent to one of those characters modified Jet Black's attack value by plus one. She also has Charge, Flurry, Sidestep, uh, Invulnerability, Toughness, Super Senses. Uh, Jet Black can use Probability uh, Control while, um, sorry, while attacking. When she does, she may choose to uh, only reroll one die, and she's got Close Combat Experts. She is a whole 110 points. Up next, we've got another interesting character, uh, Dr. Locke. He's a Hydra scientist. Um, he also has the cut off one head whenever Dr. Locke is KO'd. Remove an action token from up to two friendly characters with the Hydra keyword. Uh, duplication expert. When an opposing character is KO'd, deal one penetrating damage to each other opposing character with the same name. Uh, he's got stealth, sidestep, poison, willpower. Uh, finding genetic commonalities. Dr. Clock can use Outwit. When he does, encounters a standard power. Also, counter the sta same standard power on each other opposing character within six squares of Dr. Lock that shares a keyword with a targeted character, and he's got exploit weakness. He is all uh, 65 points. Uh, let's go with this one. Another Hydra. As I said, this brick was very Hydra heavy, which is fine with me. We've got uh, Deltit, Deltite, LMD. I don't know this one. Uh, his keywords are Hydra, Robot, and Spy. Um, whenever the Deltite LMD is KO'd, remove an action token from up to two friendly characters with the Hydra keyword. 
Um, he's got sidestep, leap, climb, toughness, regeneration, shape change, and exploit weakness. He's for a whole 35 points. And this one is the final out of this brick, as I said, or this booster, as I said, very, uh, very Hydra heavy. Um, he's a whole 45 points. This is the Imperial Hydra. His keyword is a Hydra and Ruler. Uh, when another friendly character with the Hydra keyword is KO'd and actions resolve, you may give Imperial Hydra an action token. If you do roll a D6, that uh, can't be rolled, uh, re-rolled. Uh, 4 to 5, place a character from outside the game with the Hydra keyword or 40 points or less adjacent to Imperial Hydra. On a 6, place up to 2 characters from outside the game uh, with the Hydra keyword of 40 points or less adjacent to Imperial Hydra. Uh, when Imperial Hydra takes damage from attack, uh, after actions resolve, you may choose one character adjacent to that character and deal them one penetrating damage and counter that character's defense power until the end of your next turn. He also has Stealth, Mastermind, um, and then finally Strucker's Puppet, but the men don't know it. Imperial Hydra can use Leadership. When he does and succeeds, he may instead remove an action token from a friendly character with the Hydra keyword that's within three squares, regardless of point value. This character first appeared in 1965. He's a whole 45 points. Basically, he's giving you a uh, ever going flow of Hydra characters in the to join your force. Um, also out of this set, we've got continuations of these ID cards that give you little abilities. Uh, this one's USA Agent uh, for five points. At the beginning of the game, choose a character from your sideline with a re uh, name or real name matching this ID card and turn it to a starting line. This character is called an ID character. You're going to have more ID characters in your force than you have characters placed on a map. At the beginning of the game, the card is unique. Call and help. At the beginning of your turn, you may activate one ID card per force. To activate an ID card, choose a friendly character that has no action tokens and is equal to uh, or more points than ID card's starting line. Uh, give the chosen character a power action, place the ID character adjacent to it, and then remove this ID card from the game, and your opponent scores it. The ID character can't be carried. Uh, uh, given double power actions, replace or assigned resources, ID character returns to your sideline immediately. A, at the beginning of your next turn. B, if it's not within five squares of the chosen character or C, if it is removed from the map by another game effect. Inspire when a character friendly to an ID character is in adjacent square, they can use that ID character's inspiration. So kind of an interesting thing. Uh, well, the last set was very Hydra heavy. This one is very shield heavy, but we will start with the one Hydra character in the bunch, Baron Strucker. get his car. There we go. Um, he, his keywords are Hydron Ruler. He, when Baron Strucker takes damage from an attack, an action of resolve, deal one penetrating damage to the attacker and each opposing character within two squares of the attacker. That's called Hydra's Reach is Worldwide. He also has Ruthlessly Pursuing Hydra's Goals. Each time another friendly character with the Hydra keyword is KO'd by an opposing character, modify the combat values of all friendly characters with the Hydra keyword by plus one until the end of your turn. He's got Sidestep, Charge, Stealth, Energy, Explosion, uh, he can use Blade Claws and Fangs and Exploit Weakness, Mastermind, Combat Reflexes, Regeneration, uh, use Leadership and Perplex, and the Leadership as well. He's a 120 points. Let me get, pop out all the other figures. Well, if you're going to have a Hydra kind of generic guy, you're going to have to have a shield one to match. This is the shield field agent for a whole 40 points. Rally whenever shield field agent hits one or more opposing characters, add one action to your action total this turn. Uh, they've got sidestep, toughness, willpower, power, close combat expert for uh, 40 points. The close combat expert is called Krav Maga. Uh, we've got shield recruit just like Hydra has their recruits. Shield has their recruit as well. This one is a whole 20 points. Uh, whenever Shield Recruit hits one or more opposing characters, add one action to your action total this turn. Uh, also has Plasticity, Combat Reflexes, Willpower, and Close Combat Experts for 20 points. One member of the Agents of Shield is in the main set so far. Um, as we see, the Fast Forces also get a main set version. Uh, Fitz is a whole 35 points. 
Uh, while Fitz is attacking single character, single character and another friendly character, if another friendly character with this trait has a line of fire uh, to the target, Fitz can use probability control. Hoverbots at the beginning of the game place a Hoverbot bystander token in an adjacent square. Uh, give Fitz a power action if there are less than four friendly hover hover bot tokens on the map and place one in an adjacent square. He's got stealth, willpower, enhancement, and power. Um, my eyes and ears. Hoverbot can use sidestep. Hoverbot doesn't require opponents to break away. Um, and doesn't block line of fire. It can't have damage transferred to it by mastermind. It can't be the target of perplex. Give Hoverbot a power action and choose a friendly character named Fitz or Simmons until end of that turn. That character can use their printed damage powers if, if they occupy the square Hoverbot occupies. Uh, so that's interesting. He's a whole 35 points. And then another one from Remender's Run. I dig it. I would go with a whole Jets and Nomad uh, team. Um, he's Arnim Zola's son, raised by Steve Rogers. When you build your force, Nomad gains the keywords that friendly characters named Armid Zola, Captain America, or Steve Rogers possess. When adjacent to one of those characters, uh, modify na Nomad's defense value by plus one. He also has charge, sidestep, stealth, uh, blades, claws, and fangs. Uh, has a range of four. And you, and you may use it to replace his damage value when a, uh, given a ranged combat action. He's got Quake. Combat reflexes, invulnerability, regeneration, exploit, weakness, close combat expert for a whole 80 points. So they've got the brother sister of Nomad and Jet Black, which I'm going to say is kind of cool. I actually really enjoyed Remender's run. I know some people didn't. Um, we're going to skip the duplicates in here. I don't think we actually have any. But never mind. I don't think we have any yet. Alright, we've got Golden Claw. Yes. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. comics can get really freaking racist. Um, Alright, so Golden Claw. We've got Agents of Atlas, Hydra, Martial Arts, and Miss Sklar's is keywords. Uh, when Golden Claw hits an opposing character, place a Mind Slave token on that character's card. Characters with one or more Mind Slave tokens modify their combat values by minus one when targeting Golden Claw with an attack. Remove one of his Mind Slave tokens from an opponent's card to modify Golden Claw's combat values by plus one until your next turn. He's also got Stealth, um, ID Paralyzer, Golden Claw can use Mind Control when he does. Golden Claw's line of fire isn't blocked when targeting an opposing character with a Mind Slave token. He's got Penetrating Psychic Blast, Precision Strike, Impervious, Toughness, Regeneration, Outwit. Golden Claw can use Probability Control and Shape Change. When he uses Shape Change, he succeeds on a result of 4 to 6 if targeted by a non-adjacent character. And he's got Probability Control. And while you're kind of checking out that figure, let's go through everything else we've got. This is the S.H.I.E.L.D. Paranormal Investigator. Uh, he's a whole 40 <coughs> points. Rally. Whenever S.H.I.E.L.D. Paranormal Investigator hits one or more opposing characters, add one action to your action total this turn. Uh, he also has S.H.I.E.L.D. Paranormal Investigator. Can use Stealth. Give S.H.I.E.L.D. Paranormal Investigator a free action and choose an adjacent opposing character. That character can't use Shape Change or Stealth this turn. He also has Willpower, Outfit, uh, Outwit, and Probability Control for a whole 40 points. We have... Another member of the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. This one is Agent May. She's 65 points. Um, of course, she has Martial Artist, Pilot, S.H.I.E.L.D., and Soldier. Uh, when Agent May is attacking a single character, if another friendly character with this trait has line of fire to the target, Agent May may use Probability Control. This is the field team backup um, that we see with the Agents of uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. The Calvary, if another friendly character has taken damage since your last turn, Agent May may use Willpower. She also has Charge, Sidestep, Precision Strike. Uh, she may use Combat Reflexes and Toughness, Combat Reflexes, Exploit Weakness, and Close Combat Expert. We also have another Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. This one is Sky. Uh, she also had that field team backup. Um, she can use Probability Control. If another, uh, once while Sky is attacking a single character, if another friendly character with his line of, uh, trait is line of fire to the target, Sky can use Probability Control. She's got Stealth, Willpower, Combat Reflexes. She can use Perplex when she does and isn't within an opposing character's line of fire. She can target any friendly character on the map when using 
Perplex. Uh, if she occupies an opposing starting area, she can use Perplex a second time to target any opposing character to the map. Um, and she's got close combat expert. She's 45 points. And then we've got a B, which is Hydra Recruit H. Uh, she is 30 points. Uh, she's got the cut off one head, uh, you may, which is uh, when a Hydra Agent H is KO'd, remove any action token from up to two friendly characters with the Hydra keyword. Um, Hydra Agent H and adjacent friendly characters can use the Hydra team ability, also can use the shield team ability. We've got Stealth, the daughter of the Imperial Hydra. If the Hydra Agent H is adjacent to a friendly character with the Hydra keyword, she can use Shape Change. Willpower, ranged combat experts, uh, and that's for a whole 30 points. We're at the halfway point of the brick. And we've got some interesting stuff here. Alright, we've got our first duplicate, which is a shield agent recruit. And we've got some other interesting things here. First up, we will show this off. So there's a Build-A-Figure in the set. I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. But the Build-A-Figure allows you to build this giant thing. You get a whole bunch of, whoops, you get a whole bunch of pieces one at a time. There's the leg of it. The Build-A-Figure is a Hulkbuster Mark II. But uh, you still get some stuff without the whole thing. So this is the left leg for the Hulkbuster. Um, it is 10 points and give a friendly character in this square or holding this object a power action to equip it. Uh, opposing characters can KO this object only by using it in objective object attack. Uh, to equip, uh, take object and place in a standard character's card. A character can use its effects. The character is KO'd or equipped with the second object to KO uh, the first equipped object. This character can use toughness and its attacks generate knockback. Interesting. So we have a leg. So as I said, we got the duplicate of the shield recruit agent. Um, this one's actually kind of interesting. Let's bring him up. We have Agent Ward, uh, for folks who know the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. television show, they know that Ward is a double agent. Uh, so he also has he has the Hydra and Shield keyword. Uh, so while Agent Ward is attacking a single character, if another friendly character with this trait has the line of fire to the agent, he can use probability control. That's the field team backup. He also has the traitor shield that Hydra adjacent friendly characters that can, uh, can use the shield team ability can also use the Hydra team ability, which is pretty interesting. He's got stealth, sidestep, precision strike, toughness, combat reflexes. If Agent Ward occupies hindering terrain, Agent Ward Range value becomes 8, and he can use ranged combat expert. He also has close combat experts at a whole 55 points. That one's kind of pretty cool. Um, this one's a mess up. They actually gave me two of this character's cards, which is interesting. It is blackout at 70 points. This is another character I don't know. Uh, he debuted in 1976 in Nova. Uh, he's got Masters of Evil and Thunderbolts keywords. Uh, Blackout can use Barrier and Smoke Cloud. He can also activate either uh, as a free action to instead place one marker. Opposing characters occupy any of the Smoke Cloud markers. Modify their attack values by minus two instead of minus one. He's got Phasing, Teleport, Stealth, Penetrating, Psychic Blast, Toughness, Perplex uh, for 70 points. And the one I left for last, just because I really dig it, is Kraken. Kraken also has the Hydra uh, Shield token as well as Spy and Zodiac. Uh, he's 100 points. Uh, Kraken can use Shape Change. That's You can still redeem yourself, son. Mission accomplished. Kraken heals one damage each time another friendly character with a Hydra key keyword is KO'd. He's got Stealth Telekinesis. Uh, among you, Kraken can use Poison. When he uses Poison, he, he deals penetrating damage to characters with the Hydra keyword. Invulnerability, Toughness, Regeneration, Probability Control, and Outwit. Um, I'm not going to reveal who Kraken is because it's kind of a, a big reveal. Uh, he debuted in Secret Wars number two. Uh, so the set's going heavy. Uh, 
on the Secret Wars run, which is fine with me, because that was a pretty freaking awesome run of comics. I really, really enjoyed it. So, I have no issue with them going off of that. Alright. This is a pretty, I think, a fairly shield-heavy one. But we're going to start with the Hydra characters first. We have one of the dumber things from Hydra. The Hydra Annihil Agent. He's 40 points. Whenever uh, the Hydra Agent is KO'd, remove an action token from up to two friendly characters with the Hydra keyword. He's got Stealth, Sidestep, Quake, Pulse Wave. Toughness, shape change, and when a Hydra Nile agent hits one or more opposing characters, you may destroy a wall or square uh, of blocking train within three squares of Hydra Nile agent. Uh, he's 40 points. Let's also go with the other Hydra keyword. This is Baron Blood. Uh, he's 80 points, debuted in 1976. Baron Blood begins the game on click 3. Baron Blood can use Steel Energy. When he does, he may heal past his starting line up to click 1. He can use Charge and Stealth, Flurry, Mind Control, Bly, uh, Blades, Claws, Fangs, Invulnerability, Toughness, Super Senses, Shape Change, and Exploit Weakness. Again, he's 80 points. Um, I think this is a new figure. Yeah, I don't see one. So, we're going with new figure. This is the Shield Infiltrator. Uh, he's 35 points. Uh, Shield Infiltrator hits one or more opposing characters, add one action to your action total this turn. You've got Stealth, Plasticity, Poison, Shape Change, and Exploit Weakness, add a whole 35 points. And Shield, if you've got Nick Fury, you gotta got his best buddy, Dum Dum Dungan, who is a whole 60 points. Uh, opposing characters adjacent to two or more friendly characters with the shield keyword can't use willpower or sidestep. It's also got sidestep, force blast, energy explosion. Uh, adjacent friendly characters that share keyword with dum dum uh, can be given a non free action even if they have two action tokens. Uh, when you do and actions resolve that character's dealt one unavoidable, da unavoidable damage and doesn't clear action tokens this turn. Uh, he's got toughness, willpower, leadership, and empower. He is 60 points. His keywords are Howling Commandos, Past, Shield, and Soldier. And still, again, playing off the whole Secret Warriors, we've got Druid. His keywords are Mystical, Shield, and Secret Warriors. He's got Phasing, Teleport, Stealth, Running Shot, Penetrating, Psychic Blast. When Druid, uh, give Druid a free action and choose an adjacent friendly character. That character can use Penetrating, Psychic Blast. A couple other things this turn. He's got Pulse Wave, Energy, Shield, uh, Deflection, Barrier. If Druid is adjacent to a friendly character with the Shield keyword, he can use Enhancements. If Druid is adjacent to a friendly character with Secret Warriors keyword, he can use Empower. He's also got Perplex. He appeared first in Mighty Avengers number 13 in 2008. He's a cool character. Uh, again, I'm going to repeat it. If you haven't read Hickman's run on Secret Warriors, you're missing out. That's where you're going to see a lot of the stuff in this set play out, which is pretty freaking cool if you ask me. Alright. Taking more stuff out. Alright. This is a very shield friendly brick. We've got Deathlock. So far, we've only seen what one one duplicate. It's not bad. Um, Deathlock can use Mind Control uh, if he is the only character on your force. He isn't dealt damage from using Mind Control. He can use Running Shot and Stealth, Sidestep, Stealth, Smoke Cloud, uh, Toughness, Combat Reflexes, Regeneration, Probability Control, and Close Combat Experts. He is 75 points. Next, we've got Quake. Again, with the whole Secret Warriors thing. Quake's, Quake's real name is Daisy, for those watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, this is who Sky really is. 
Uh, so it's a little weird having the two figures in the set. So her keywords are Avenger, Shield, Secret Warriors, Soldier, and Spy. Uh, so she's got the opposing character adjacent uh, to two or more friendly characters. With the Shield uh, keyword, can't use Willpower Quake. Uh, Quake can you use Quake. She may use it as if she occupied a square within three squares in line of fire. Uh, she's got Stealth, Charge, Precision, Strike, Incapacitate, Toughness, Willpower, Combat, Reflexes, Leadership, Perplex, 485 points. Uh, next, we've got Eric Koenig. Uh, his keywords are Hammer, Howling Commandos, Pilot, Shield and Spy, uh, Change the World from Within, Opposing Characters Adjacent or two, to Two or More Friendly Characters with the Shield Keyword, Can't Use Willpower, Shape Change. It's got Stealth, Plasticity, Penetrating Psychic Blast, Energy Shield, Deflection, Combat Reflexes, uh, hammer, hammer Infiltrator, Eric Koning can use Shape Change when he does and succeeds, put a stolen secret token on his card, remove a stolen secret token, and choose Outwit, Perplex, or Probability Control. Eric Koning can use the Chosen Power until your next turn, he also has Shape Change. And kind of weird to have in the same package, but we're going to go with it. We've got Bucky. Bucky, keywords, is Howling Commandos, Invaders, Past Soldier Spy. Uh, Bucky ignores opposing barrier and smoke cloud markers for movement purposes and removes them from the game when moving through them. Uh, he is a wild card, but uh, may only copy team abilities from friendly characters with a shared keyword. He's got Stealth, Sidestep, Blade, Claws, Fangs, Precision Strike, Willpower, Defend, and Power and support for 45 points. And then we also have got, as I said, this is a little weird, we have the Winter Soldier. Um, Winter Soldier ignores opposing barrier and smoke cloud markers for movement purposes, removes them from the game when moving through them. He also has keywords Assassin, Invader, Shield, Soldier. Uh, his other abilities are Stealth, Sidestep, Running Shot, Penetrating Psychic Blast, Toughness, Combat Reflexes, Energy Shield, Reflection, Deadly Snipers, when Winter Soldier a Winter Soldier can use Outwit and Ranged Combat Expert both with a locked range of 10. If he uses both in a turn, he must target the same characters and probability control for 95 points. So, right now, going off the set, I don't know what team I would want to play. So, we got another card. This one is Ms. Marvel. Uh, Ms. Marvel for five... Yep, five points. At the beginning of your turn, you may activate one ID card. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, when it, uh, the Inspire. When a character, friendly ID character, is adjacent character, they can use ID character's inspiration. Um, yeah, she can't be carried. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, whatever. And this one, we have another ID card. We also have a bunch of duplicates. Which is fine. It happens. Uh, duplicates this one. Nick Fury is a duplicate. Sky is a duplicate. Uh, Sarah Garza is a duplicate. So that's what four duplicates total so far. Hydra Field Agent, I believe, is a duplicate. Um, yep. Hydra Field Agent is a duplicate. So out of this, we've only got one new figure, which is kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. When you get this far into it, oops, that's what we're looking at. So this is Viper. Um, her keywords are Hammer, Hydra, Master, and Spy. Uh, when Viper takes damage from an attack and resolves, uh, actions resolve, deal one penetrating damage to the attacker to each opposing character adjacent to the attacker. What if I become? At the beginning of your turn, roll a d6 that can't be re-rolled. Viper can use the indicated power until your next turn. Those are Mind Control, Perplex, Outwit, or Choose One. She also has Flurry, Plasticity, Poison, Toughness, Energy Shield, Deflection, Leadership, and Close Combat Expert. Uh, she is a whole hundred points. And then we've got the War Machine... card. Um, he's also whole five points. Um, yeah. So, same thing with the cards. I don't quite get them, but whatever. So we're down to our final two 
boosters. Let's see what else we get. Well, first up, we got the left leg. We also have the right leg. So for this is the right leg Hulkbuster. Um, this character can use toughness and flight ability for 10 points. Alright, next up we've got Radiance. Radiance is 65 points. She has the invaders and shield keywords. Radiance ignores opposing barrier and smoke cloud markers for movement purposes and removes them from the game when uh, moving them. Uh, she also has sidestep, incapacitate, pulse wave, and willpower. Next we've got Hydra Infiltrator, who looks like a really bad generic 70s villain. Uh, caught off one head, he's got the whole thing. Um, when a Hydra Infiltrator is KO'd, remove an action token from up to two friendly characters with the Hydra keyword. He also has Stealth, Sidestep, Smoke Cloud, Blades, Claws, Fangs, uh, Willpower, and Combat Reflexes for 30 points. I think Radiance, I forgot the bad back stuff. Yeah. She also has uh, Energy Shield, Deflection, Super Senses, Radiance can use Shape Change adjacent few, for the characters that share a keyword with her, can also use Shape Change. She appeared in 19 or 2014, so she's a relatively new figure, or new character. We've got the Shield Section Chief. Uh, that figures for a whole 45 points. Uh, whenever Shield Section Chief hits one or more opposing characters, add one action to your character. Uh, total uh, action total this turn. Uh, she also has running shot, sidestep, toughness, leadership, enhancement. Uh, point value of 45 points. And then we've got Man Killer. Man Killer is a member of AIM, Brute, Hydra, Masters of Evil, and Thunderbolt Thunderbolts. Uh, no man is better than me when Man Killer is the only target of an attack. Attacking character has a higher attack or damage value of the man killer, that character replaces those higher value, uh, higher combat values with man killer's printed values, and those values are locked for the attack. She got charge, plasticity, super strength, inv uh, invincible, invulnerability, toughness. Uh, at the beginning of your turn, choose one to last until your next turn. Man killer can use close combat expert and has, I think, the giant size or whatever it is. Or man killer can use range combat expert with a range value of five and also exploit weakness. Um, she is. 95 points. And we've got the last booster. Uh, we've got a couple of duplicates, but let's go with the non duplicates. That one's not a duplicate. That twin is. Not. That one's not. And that one's just kind of freaking cool. Alright. We've got uh, Nomad is with duplicate. We got that one before. Maria Hill is new. Maria Hill. Uh, she's 60 points. Her keywords are politician, shield, soldier, uh, opposing characters adjacent to two or more friendly characters with the shield keyword. Can't use willpower or energy shield deflection. Uh, when Maria Hill occupies her starting area and is given a move action, she has flight for this action and may carry up to four friendly characters uh, with the shield keyword. When she does, roll d6 and place her speed value with her printed speed value plus the result. She has stealth, running shot, penetrating psychic blast. Incapacitate, Defend, Mastermind, Willpower, Leadership, and Empower. Um, a number, another member of the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. 
we got Fitz, we also got Simmons. She's 35 points. Her keywords are shield and scientist. Uh, she has the field team backup when Simmons is attacking a single character. If another friendly character with a straight has a line of fire to target, Simmons can use probability control. She also has stealth. Give Simmons a power action and choose an adjacent friendly character. That character can use force blast, incapacitate, and smoke cloud to your next turn. She also has willpower, outwit, support for 35 points. Next, we've got another member of the Invaders in Spitfire. Cool character that uses the whole um, see-through translucent plastic really, really well. Uh, her keywords are Excalibur, Invaders, Monster, Soldier, Speedster, and Spy. Uh, Spitfire ignores opposing barrier and smoke cloud markers for movement purposes and removes them from the game when moving through them. Uh, Spitfire can use hypersonic speed when she does modify her defense value against ranged combat attacks by plus one until your next turn. She also has charge, precision strike. Uh, she can use blades, claws, fangs, fury when she uses blade, claws, fangs. Um, the maximum resolve to d6 is four. She also has smoke cloud, toughness, super senses, regeneration, and perplex for a whole 95 points. And which I think a really, really cool figure. This is the Shield Space Rig. Keywords are shield and vehicle. The points are 25. Nick Fury, a uh, personal craft for Nick Fury. A themed team may include a shield space rig and is still a themed team as long as a character named Nick Fury is on your force. That's pretty kind of cool. Uh, it has sidestep, precision strike, energy shield deflection. Um, shield space rig can use energy shield deflection. If shield space rig has two action tokens, it can't be the target of close combat attacks. As far as vehicles, vehicles uh, can automatically break away, can't be assigned resources, piloting. An adjacent friendly character can be given a power action to become the vehicle's one pilot and be placed on this card. Pilots can't possess a certain token or certain symbols. Pilot is only applied to the pilot as long as that character is on this card. Vehicles without a pilot can't be given actions. Give the vehicle power action to place the pilot into an adjacent square. Pilot abilities are uh, traits that are only active when the pilot meets the prerequisites. Passengers, vehicles can use the carry ability. Whenever they use the carry ability, do not modify their speed value from using it. And they can carry up to the number of characters next to the you know, symbol, the person symbol, uh, as passengers, ignoring the speed symbols of passengers. Uh, pilot attacks, giving the vehicle free action, and until your next turn, replace its attack, damage, and range values with those printed values of the pilot. Give the vehicle free action and choose a standard attack or damage power that pilot possesses. Until your next turn, vehicle can use the chosen power but can't use any other attack or damage powers, and then wrecked vehicles, remove the vehicle from the map, and place a standard heavy object in one of the squares it occupies. Place the pilot into or adjacent to the square of the placed object in roll d6. On a roll of 1 to 3, deal the pilot 2 unavoidable damage. 4 through 6, deal the pilot 1. And that's for a whole 25 points. And it's kind of cool because that's the last booster and last figure we're going to go through. So that's everything. A nice kind of overview of what you generally get in the uh, Nick Fury Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Hero Click set from WizKids. Um, overall, I think a kind of pretty cool set. If you are a fan of Hydra or Shield, this is kind of a you need to get it for Hero Clicks. Um, there's definitely a lot of really cool theme teams I would be doing off of this. Um, I myself would be looking at Secret Warriors or uh, maybe even Agents of Atlas out of it. Uh, out of the two of Shield and Hydra, I'm really leaning towards Hydra just because I think their figures are friggin' awesome. Uh, Kraken especially. Uh, the top stuff figure wise, I'm gonna have to go Spitfire. I really like. Kraken I really like, the, the uh, spacesuit I really, really dig, uh, Baron Strucker is actually kind of a cool one, and then that one I think is actually pretty neat, and out of everything I think that's kind of the highlight of them, that's like the best figures I think, uh, your mileage may vary, but those are the ones I dig out of it all, so, um, yeah, overall, pretty cool set. I'm liking it. Uh, there's some de definite possibilities. I'm going to throw a Mad Madam Hydra in there as well. Uh, there, you know, I would definitely rock, a, I think, a, a 
Hydra Force off of this. So uh, there is that. So thanks for watching. This is Graph Palace and Television. I know it's been a long video going over all these figures. You can catch us every single day at Graphic Palace and graphicpolicy.com. Of course, we're on Twitter, Facebook, all at Graphic Policy. We keep it nice and consistent. Until next time, thanks for watching. Keep rolling those die and keep it geeky.